Thanks, Dan. At Whitehall High School, Nick Shafnisky was a most valuable player in the old Lehigh Valley Conference. When he made his college choice, he stayed close to home, and he went on to do many great things as a quarterback at Lehigh University. For some athletes, playing in their backyard can add some extra pressure and distractions. But for Shafnisky, it was a welcome opportunity. It was honestly probably the biggest uh, factor in why I chose Lehigh, a top, you know, top three at least. Um, Family has always been everything. Uh, my dad and I always had a thing. You know, he's never missed a, a football game, basketball game, baseball, track meet, whatever it was. Um, so obviously, you know, being being right down the road helps him at least for home games. And uh, my mom was such a, you know, um, such a factor in my life as well that, that kind of pushed me to where I am. So, um, you know, that was huge to just know that my family could be there each weekend. And, you know, my coaches from Whitehall and, you know, Hartman, the athletic director and, you know, whoever else. So. Um, definitely a huge factor, man. In Shafnisky's senior season, he and his eventual successor at quarterback, Brad Mays, had the keys to a luxury sports car. The Mountain Hawks group of skilled offensive players included running back Dom Bragalone and wide receivers Troy Pelletier and Gatlin Casey. Yeah, and it finally came to fruition. You know, freshman and sophomore year, the team is, is young and we're trying to figure our identity out new coaching staff, new offense coordinator, and everything that, you know, Coach Fulmer and Coach Brisson did and Coach Cohen is, you know, just use the weapons. You know, I'm a different quarterback than Brad, and, and former, you know, Coach Fulmer would, would understand that and put in those plays that might be different. But when Brad came in, you know, you saw the offense didn't skip a beat, and that's credit to obviously the rest of the offense that, you know, doesn't look down or, or doesn't look sideways. It's, it's Brad. You know, he's going to come in, he's going to do his thing, and that's it. And then it's a credit to the coaching staff, you know, um, being able to put up different game plans and, and me and Brad obviously being different quarterbacks, but, um, you know, unique in our own abilities. And, you know, you could see that, you know, why our team was so successful and why our offense specifically, you know, um, did our thing, I guess I would say. In one of his many fine games in 2016, Chef Nisky led the Mountain Hawks offense to 58 points and 632 yards of total offense in a huge win over Fordham. He said the key to the team's explosiveness on offense came down to three letters. RPO, um, just the run pass option. When you got a workhorse like Don Bragle in the backfield and uh, receivers like Chor and Gatlin and, and Derek Nod and and, you know, then our, our offensive line, you know, that can pass block as good as anyone, but, you know, move guys downfield and, um, you know, move guys to the second level for run blocking if you need. Everything was just clicking. Um, I think we could have put up, you know, 800 yards and, and 80 points if we needed to. Uh, I think 51 of them were in the first half. And, you know, each drive we just kind of knew that, you know, whether it's the run, whether it's the pass, just be consistent. Um, take the plays when they're there, you know, and when the big shots come up, just execute and, you know, don't, don't overthink it, uh, you know. So it was, a, it was a good game, fun game. For Chef Nisky, his crowning moment at Lehigh came in 2016 when he and his fellow Mountain Hawk seniors went out as Patriot League champions. I mean, it, it's everything just from the ring, you know. Um, it wasn't about uh, the wins are huge. And I actually don't even know what my career win loss record is probably not too good since from my freshman, sophomore year and even junior. Um, but yeah, it's just everything from that ring. You know, I, I, we came to Lehigh to win a ring, you know, everything that um, we were told is, you know, there's never been a class in the past 20 seasons at Lehigh that at least hasn't walked out with one ring and one championship. So, I mean, it's our last year. So this is, you know, this is the only year we have. Um, you know, I think I think the seniors especially, you know, took that to heart, took it as a challenge and, um, you know, it reproduced and, and, and got the ring, you know, like I said. But um, more so than anything, it's just a championship. It's It's that it was the. 30 minutes after the game to the rest of the night after that game, you know, seeing your family to tailgating after to, to, you know, seeing the guys put on the hats and the white championship hats. And, um, you know, those memories will last, you know, with me forever. It's probably still my favorite year of my life. Even though Chef Nisky no longer puts on the helmet and pads, he is still involved in the game. I try to stay around football when I can. Um, it's my passion, my energy, uh, working out. Uh, I'm, I'm big into yoga now, which is funny. Um, kind of getting into that. Maybe I'm a little yogi one day. And um, in terms of work, I, I kind of just um, work with some professional athletes and, um, you know, help them out on the side and, and uh, you know, partner myself, try to leverage my, you know, my connections and, and um, you know, help these guys you know, maximize their potential off the field with their image or, you know, their likeness, their brand, and, um, you know, help them just with whatever, you know, whatever they may need off the field make their life you know a little bit more efficient easier take some stress off and um you know put it on me 
Not only did Shafnisky close his Lehigh career with a championship, but he was also named the Patriot League Offensive Player of the Year in 2016. In his final season as a Mountain Hawk, he threw for 2,489 yards and 20 touchdowns, and he also rushed for 11 more touchdowns.